as her back at Fanimation. I actually already recorded this video to her, and then when I was transferring it off my phone to my computer, the file got corrupted. So I'm going to do it over again. If I find the old file, I'll upload that one as well. When well, I say find, if I can fix it, you know, if I can find the footage, essentially, I will uh, upload that one as well. And uh, it'll be two versions. But for right now, I'm doing it over, and hopefully this file will work, because it was pretty much an hour of footage. So we're here in the lobby. Uh, when I came down here this time, just one Enigma was on, which is weird, because they're all on the same remote, so not sure how that happened. And the uh, Aviston was on. Um, so you can see they added these uh, LED lights up here that unfortunately are positioned so that there's a lot of strobing from the Enigmas, so they're going to be trying something different with those. Um, so let's turn all of the uh, lobby fans on low. Low for the Enigmas. Come on, Enigmas. That one's not going to take. There we go. I don't know why it takes so much pushing. Okay. The Aviston. Low. And I like having the lights on just so I know which ones are working and which ones are not. Okay. Spitfire. Low. I actually really like the Spitfire. Zonix. Low. Let's get the air shadow on over here. Low. <clears throat> okay. Everything's on low. It's going to be really hard to tell with these enigmas, though, because they are being wonky. Maybe the battery's low. I don't know what causes that. Interference from the LEDs. Okay, so we're going to try medium with them. Just going to push it a bunch of times and hope that it takes. <clears throat> One of them is definitely going faster. Are the others? Okay, that's good enough. Aviston. Spitfire. Xanax. Air Shadow. Everything's on medium now. Looks like that top one is still slower than the rest. But let's find out. This remote was just blinking. What does it mean when the remote blinks? Anyhow, high. Let's take these to high. I heard some of them pick up. The top one still. Okay, so we're getting there. Feel a breeze from those. Those are some powerful fans, even though they don't look like it. High on the Aviston. High on the Spitfire. High on the Zonix. The three blade Fanimation fans have a pretty slow high. I think that's because the uh, people don't want a real windy sounding fan. High with the air shadow. Is it taking? Doesn't seem like that's high. There we go. Everything's on high. Okay, let's try to do a spin down. It's going to be difficult because these enigmas are going to be stubborn, I'm sure. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's try that. Aviston. Spitfire. Xanax. What do I do with the air shadow remote? It's right here. And just so that I don't forget, Turn the lights off too.
So that one stopped quick. See, that one Spitfire stopping pretty quick. Fires stopping. Sonics is still going. Aviston's still going. Enigmas are stopping, but they're still going. You can see the new Fanimation sign out there. It's got the new logo. Enigmas, Sonics. Aviston. For those who watch my videos, um, Ashley, who worked at the front desk, got promoted. And there's a new Denise. So now there's two Denises. Okay, looks like that Enigma is going to stop first. Then probably the Zonix. Once the Zonic stops, I'm going to let these go and move on to some other rooms because the spin down can take forever, especially with the heavy blades like the uh, Aviston. Okay, Zonic is stopping. Aviston is still going. One of the Enigmas is coming too close to stopping, and the other one's still got a ways to go. So let's keep moving. I think everything down here is the same as it's been. <clears throat> so in here, I think these are on the same remote. Yeah, they're definitely on the same remote as something because they're on and they were off before. So let's get the lights on first. How about I get them both on? There we go. Low. Medium, high, off. And you can see blading. Okay, let's keep moving. Oops, so let's turn those lights off. Get them off. There we go. Now, I swear those are on the same frequency as the Enigmas, so let's see if that's affected our Enigmas any. Nope. Aviston's still going, though. Okay. Only thing over here is Jana's office. She used to have an air shadow, now she has this embrace. So. Low. Medium. High. It doesn't seem like it'd be that powerful given how slow it is, but it's actually pretty powerful. It's pretty impressive. Off. Off. I'm not doing full on spin downs because the video would be way too long. We'll do them in some places where there are multiple fans. But as far as individual fans, you've seen them all spin. Aviston's still going. See, that's why I can't do full spin downs for everything. So the break room has this, I uh, can't remember what these are called. Everybody keeps uh, telling me, and I just can't keep up. There's so many. Um, one of the new fans is the subtle. I don't remember if this is the subtle or the five blade thing is the subtle. There's actually two five blade things it could be. So there's low. Medium, high, for the longest there was no fan in here and I thought that was silly. How you not have a fan in the break room of a fan company. Okay. So, let's keep moving. A lot of these offices are locked, and I 
don't uh, have the master key right now. Just have the so this Benito is still here. Let's see if there's a remote in here for it. Is this it? Well, if this is, it's dead, so that's no help. Is there a remote in here? I don't see it. If it's here, if it's here, it's this one, and this one's dead, so. Can't really help you there. I swore I found the remote for it earlier, but maybe not. Oh, well. We've done that on a million videos. You've seen that one. This brewmaster is still here. Both of these offices, both the one with the Benito and the one with the brewmaster, are used by the accountants. So here's low. Medium. High. They seem pretty similar. Does reverse do anything on the brewmaster? Yep, it reverses. Don't think I knew that. Cool. This is a new thing that I'm not familiar with, but it's a cool new one. So here's the remote for it. Let's see here. Low. Medium, a high, oh, it's another one that seems slower than you'd expect, but moves more air than you'd expect. Okay, off. I don't know what this one is called. I don't think this is the subtle. I'm just calling all the ones I don't know the subtle. So, if you guys know what's in there, we'll do separate tours later. If you guys know what's up there, we'll do separate tours later. <clears throat> I think the only thing else on this floor is the R&D lab. So, let's go in here. Okay, there's a couple of them on already. See, this is this. Let's turn the fan on low. Good, I figured that one out quickly. Here's the Odin. Let's do uh, low and light on. That one can't make it with mine, huh? Well, there it goes. I tried earlier and couldn't find the switches for these. Maybe there are these remotes down here. But if they are, fans aren't responding to them. Um, that one obviously is not hooked up. This one, let's try. Low. Good. Okay. Let's see what else we got over here. Light on, low. This one I know I got on before. Light on, low. I couldn't find the remote for that. And that's not hooked up. Too bad, I want to play with one of those. Um, I couldn't find anything for that. There's nothing in here. Oh, an orbital fan. Didn't do anything. Okay. Then we go over here. Where Juliet lives. And there's a... This is the other one that might be the subtle. You know, I'm just calling every new fan the subtle. We'll figure out which one's actually the subtle at some point. I'm trying to get it on. I 
gets on low. I'm no good with the uh, new remotes. They're too fancy for me. Okay. I'm going to skip medium because a lot of these are 7 speed fans, so we'll just do low and high. Turning this one above me on high. That one should be on high now. Let's turn the Odin on high. This is going to be a windstorm in here, so I'm sorry about your papers, buddy. I don't know who lives in that office. Maybe Scott. Hi. I think I'm going to start doing just low and high when I do this because with the seven speed fans, you know, what do you pick? Four is the medium and it just gets complicated. So we'll just do, we'll just do low and high for now. Okay, I'm going to work backwards, turn them off. 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 Ah, right, that's a cute little hugger. Off. Off. Not sure if that's off or not. Off. Now let's go turn. That's got a switch, does it? No. Yeah. Well, that one's not off. Hold on. Thought for sure it was off. There we go, I think that's off. That's coming to a stop. Okay, so we're done in here. Turn the lights off. Okay, pretty sure everything is off and not just uh, spinning down. So we will continue about our tour. Well, that's back on. Must be on one of the same frequencies. Turn that off. A little tuck away there. <clears throat> One thing I miss is the life test area. Here is uh, Sandy's office. Nope, it's not on that, so let's try this. Light. On light. Down light. Low. 
Nathan's office. Let's try light, low, I think that's low. I keep wondering what the humming is. Is the light on in one of the bathrooms? Is that what the humming's coming from? Let me just find out. There it was. Looks like is there a fan on downstairs? No, it's the bath fan. Okay. Low. It's another subtle light and low. By the way, I turned all the fans off in the bullpen and there's one on. So again, some stuff must share the same frequencies. This one is moving some air, moving some papers and stuff just without so I'm just going to skip to high. We're just going to do high and low. Again, because with these variable and seven speed remotes and all that. One of my favorites. Just looks like a classic vintage industrial fan. Although I wonder why it's matte white and not gloss. Hi. Hi. It looks slow, but it's moving there. Okay. Off. And I'll turn the light off. 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 Off? How? I... Yeah, I finally turned it off. Just not used to these new fancy remotes. But they're very. Oh! Quick spin down because it's DC. That one will probably be quick spin down too. This one we know has a long spin down. Off. There's got to be a trick to these that I don't know. There we go. So, lights off. That one's almost spun down, so lights off. That'll be a while. I don't know why I didn't turn the light off. Okay. This orbital fan is still here. I can't remember what these are called other than orbital.
two speeds. Pretty cool design. They seem to get a lot of men on warranty though. There's always some in the scrap bin, so they must have some flaws in the design. Either that or people use them outside too much. Where's my light switch here? Hey, Andrew! He's useless. Find the light switch or the bullpen. Maybe that was it? Yep. So. I was just going to have you hit the lights out here, but I found the switch. Low. Single speed. Light on. Low. Low. There's no light. Light. Low. Light. Low. One of my favorites, by the way, DC Levon. Light. Low. The one that's on the same is something downstairs. Low. Low. Light. Light. Low. Let's move up to a high. High. Punka only has one speed, so we leave it alone. High. 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 I'll leave all those on high for a second. We'll go peek at this louver in here. Wonder what this knucklehead is doing. Oh, he's playing on the computer, of course. Instead of, you know, actually low DC louver high okay let's hit the kill switch and do a mass spin down So the DC fans sat pretty quick. A DC Levon is cool with an integrated light that doesn't look any different than the switch cap. So if you don't have a light on, it just looks like <clears throat> DC Levon is first. Let's see what's last. By the way. DC louver. Turn it off.
I don't know what these things are. It looks like that five-bladed thing might uh, be the last man standing. Yep. Okay, so let's set everything back the way we found it. I wonder where the other switch is for this, since this is a three-way. Which means somewhere on the other end of the building is the uh, opposing switch. Light off. Off. Light. That one's not going off. I hit stop. What do you want from me? Somebody's map blue. I don't know where that goes. I'll put it right there. Okay. So next time I come, this room will be very different. So you can look forward to that. Here's the famous camera really doesn't do the finish justice. You can kind of sort of see it. Low. High. Come back to that. I can't remember what this thing is called. We see it a lot though. Low. I said under the low. Hi. Come back to that. That's full speed. So we'll turn that off. It's a good air mover. It doesn't look like it because it looks kind of slow. Turn that off. Ooh, look at these. I want these, like Fanimation miniatures. I want some. Okay. Just come back and see how the Enigma is doing since those take forever. It's a metal version. And last, but certainly not least, where the magic happens. Low, medium, high, Tom's office, of course. Okay, that one stopped. That's still going, but I'll turn the lights off. Let's just see anything downstairs since I've been playing with the remotes. Let's see if we have any interference. Uh, that will leave on. That can go off. That can go off. I really wish I could turn those bright LEDs off. Oh yeah, we definitely have some interference. The Spitfire's on. That wasn't on before. These are back on. So let's turn that off.
Can I get them both off, please? Okay. Yep. Spitfire's on. Let's uh, turn that off. Let's see if anything in the lab has come on. For once, no. Usually something comes on. So, okay. Well, I will do a separate tour for the warehouse and separate tours for the various sections of the museum. Thanks for watching and come visit us at Fanimation.